Let's review our letter sounds. T, top, t, in, nut, n, u, up, a, uh, a, apple, a, s, snake, s, p, pan, p, b, bat, b, m, man, m, c, cat, G, game, g, E, ed, e, J, jug, j, F, fun, f, I, itch, i, O, octopus, a, D, dog, d, R, rat, r. So we are going to introduce and learn how to write three more letters. And the first one is L. So L, lamp, O. The next one is H. H, hat. And the next one is K. K, kite. So we are going to do our handwriting skills, starting with the letter L. L is a skyline letter. That means that it is starting on the skyline. So we are going to start at the skyline, go down to the grass line, and stop. L, lamp, L. All right, let's do that again. We're starting at the skyline, going down to the grass line, and stop. Let's do that again. Starting at the skyline, go down to the grass line and stop. And one more time. Starting at the skyline, going down to the grass line and stop. L, lamp, O. We are moving into our handwriting skill for letter H. Letter H is also a skyline letter, so it's going to start at the skyline Let's start at the skyline, go down to the grass line, trace back up to the plane line and make a hump. H, hat, h. Let's do that again. Start at the skyline, go down to the grass line, back up to the plane line and make a hump. Let's do it again, starting at the skyline down to the grass line, back up to the plane line, and make a hump. One more time. Start at the skyline, go down to the grass line, back up to the plane line, and make a hump. H, hat, h. Now we are going to start our handwriting skill of writing the letter K. K is also a skyline letter, so it's going to start on the skyline. So we're starting at the skyline, going all the way down to the grass line. We are now going to pick up our pen or our marker, and we're going to point to this plane line right here. We're leaving a little bit of space right here, and we're at the plane line. We're going to touch the tall line, and then slide down to the grass line. K, kite, k. Let's do it again. Starting at the skyline, going down to the grass line, picking up our marker, leaving space on our plane line, but making a dot. Touch your tall line, slide down to the grass line. Start at the skyline, go down to the grass line, pick up your marker, go up to the plane line, leaving a little bit of space, Touch your tall line, slide down to the grass line. One more time. Starting at the skyline, go down to the grass line, pick up your marker, leave a little bit of space. Touch the tall line, slide down to the grass line. K, kite, k. 
Okay, it's time for our sight words. Boys and girls, let's go over the sight words that we already know. I, say them with me. I, it, it, a, a oops, at, at is. is. Okay, let's do it one more time. I, I it, it, a, a at is. is very good all right we have two new sight words our sight words today for this week are going to be can and and let's say that together can, can and. and all right now what i want you to do is i want to give you a magazine and you're going to look for the words can or and, and if you find them, you're going to highlight them or circle them. So you can just briefly scan. Oh, look, we found one already. This is our word, and. So we're going to highlight it. And you'll keep looking and see if you find and or can again. Oh, there we go. What's that word? And. Good. What's that word? And. Very good. And it's okay if we don't find the word can. We can go to another page and look for it somewhere else if we need to, but we'll look a little bit longer. Up oh, there's that word again, our new sight word. What is it? And. Very good. Okay. So you can do this also if you don't have a magazine, if you have a newspaper or an old book, or just um, you can write um, some sentences on a paper and then let your child find the word and or can, which would be our new sight words, and circle them. Now we have our activity for week six, day two, and it's make a compound word. The directions say, look at each picture, write the words that names the picture, then write the words together to make a compound word. Use the word bank to help you. So we have our word bank here with all of our words, and we're going to start with number one, and then you're going to do the rest, okay? So number one, what's that a picture of? That is a dog. So we are going to write dog over here in our blank, okay? What is this a picture of? A house. And remember, you can use your word bank to help you spell. So we've already got dog and we've got house. So you're going to write house right next to dog because we're making a compound word Dog plus house equals dog house. Good job on our activities today. Keep working on those Pete the Cat letters.